Well guys, finally managed to get out, but not for an overnight camp, but I've just come down to New Lanark. Um, two birds, one stone, well three birds, one stone really. Um, Mrs Recovery Wild Campers attending the the um, hobby craft show at the SCCC and I've come down to meet with uh, Rebecca Green who has been in contact with me re my appeal for donations for Mayfield Road Wild Campers and um, I've just met her and she's dropped off a load of stuff that's going to be um, really useful for things about for our wild camps throughout the year and beyond. So I'm just going to take a wee wander down. I hope I'm going in the right direction. And the plan is to sort of have a wee meander, a wee wander around the sort of mills area and over to that bad boy, the Falls of Clyde. And the other plan would be to find somewhere quiet. I've got the bush box with me. And um, because it's spam appreciation week in the UK this week, um, I was just going to stop off and make myself a wee something to munch. So I'll bring you back once I'm a wee bit further in. So here we are down to the main sort of buildings. A lot of people will be saying, a lot of the youngsters will be saying, what's that? Yeah, it's a telephone box. We used to use these. But it's still working too, that is. Strange. So obviously this was all sort of textile mills. You know what, I could have brought my car actually all the way down here and parked because there doesn't seem to be any parking permits on the cars or anything. New buildings, 1798. This car's coming from everywhere. So there's a hotel down here. Imagine this when you go back into the time when it was an actual working mill. This is all commercialised, restaurants, general store, ice cream parlours, mechanics box shops. One may always be prevented by those who adopt the principles of peace and being at all times, prepared to resist the injustice and oppression, and this preparation may easily be effected by wise arrangements in the education of the young. You must have been the guy then, Robert Owen School for Children. Yeah, let's just crack on and see what's happening. We'll follow this wee badger dude. Follow me to the Falls of Clyde for badgers, peregrines and waterfalls. And more. Mm. Up to these waterfalls. 
behind it was going down. It's like a water wheel. That's obviously been moved from the river. Bring his back in a wee while when I get further round. So that's us heading on to the Clyde walkway towards the Falls of Clyde and the Wildlife Reserve. Here's this wee badger dude again. So, I did bring my bush box stove with me in the hope that I could do something spammy in my new TF mini grill. It has been raining. I did bring a small amount of kindling with me, so we'll see. Just depends on how many people are kicking about. We'll just keep a meandering. The weather was, weather was pure shit on the way in from the SACC, but at least the rain's off now, it's just a bit of spitting. I've been like a caged lion the last two, well, four weeks for all these storms. And then there was my monumental 156 mile round trip to Arica, which was shit, that was two weeks ago. But in the first wee part of the falls. I do like a waterfall. What have we got up here? Okay, let's move on. Oh, what's this peregrine update? Alright. So, what we're trying to say is, no, there ain't no peregrines here anymore. I think something similar happened up at uh, Loch Garden when we were up um, last year at the Osprey Centre. The birds that had been returning for years upon years had decided one year, well last year, not to return. But anyway, here's some other walkers coming off. I'm going to turn these off for now. Just going to pop down to this wee viewing point in here. See if you see any dippers. Chicken dippers. No. Yeah, 
Dus dat weet ik wat ik hier weet van de afleggen. Okay. Oh. Well, we got winter tree identification. Okay, self-guided trail for the budding dendrologists. Okay then, bring you back. How cool is this, dudes? So calm and then all of a sudden, wash. But this is my first time here, I can see, I've watched a few videos. Uh, Kevin Smith, raving about Scotland, was up here a couple of months ago and I know there's a big beast further up this water so I'll uh, head back along this wee platform I don't know if it's going to be quite slippy because it's wet, but no, it's got these gripper strip things on them. Oh, did I just see a dipper? I haven't seen anywhere yet that I can get the bush bolts going. You have entered Badger territory. I just can eat 200 earthworms in one night. Well, there you go. Every day is a school day. So yeah, I've been totally freaking out the last few weeks. No being able to get out. We've got a few pieces of new kit that I really want to sort of test. Um, so, that's not been happening. Uh, Michelle from Out and About in Scotland. I've seen that she was up at Loch Drunky last week, which is another one of my favourite spots. And saw that the car was in, so uh, now I know that the Three Locks Forest Drive, just above Aberfoyle, is open. I thought, right, I might get I might get Loch Drunky this weekend. But the weather has just been pure and utter shit. And I woke up at like 4 o'clock this morning, straight down the stairs, and I checked, checked the weather forecast, and yeah, for the majority of the day it's 90% rain. But I've come out west uh, here, so we're maybe about, what, 30 miles out of Glasgow, and as I say, it was still raining when I was coming in here, but the rain stopped for a bit. But I'm kind of a kibosh now because I've got to go back to Glasgow and pick up the missus and then head back to Sunny Bones. Oh, it's so, 
so sweet, eh? Idiots. Right, I can just see some white water through these trees, so I'm presuming that's the big one. Yeah, I've got a great wee camping spot across here, a wee clearing. That's, my heat's absolute mince by the way. What I thought was white water and a big huge waterfall. It's a white building, what a twat. Pardon my Spanish. Is twat Spanish? I'm not sure. Uh, it's today. Oh well, there we go. Right, I'm gonna turn these off and then I'm gonna get by this gentleman and his son. And I'll bring you back. How cool is he? It's a mighty big badger that. So this I believe is Boddington Power Station. I'm presuming this was built to make hydroelectric power for the mills down below. <coughs> There's a big pipes coming down. What we got up here? Oh, foxes. Foxes. A young fox is called either a kit, a pup, or a cub. Make up your mind. Foxes can hear a mouse squeak 100 metres away. And a vole scampering one metre below snow. Clever wee buggers them, aren't they? Right, I'll keep trekking up this hill. Okay. That is one big gorge, isn't it? So I believe that round the corner from here there's a big waterfall. To the looks of it, there will be. So we shall meander around, up and round, and we shall see what has to be seen. So, here we are. This is the Coraline. Coraline. <coughs> Excuse me. Quite impressive. Yeah, quite like that. Oh, hi. 
So I think I might make my way back down because I need to get the missus. I don't think I'm going to get bush box in the day. There's too many people about and I didn't want to get sort of, I don't know, in trouble for lighting fires. I'm not sure of the fire laws here. I should have checked that out. But yeah, we'll head back down in a minute. Nice. I need it the information boards. Very interesting. Alright, I'm just going to stuff my jacket into that rucksack because I'm absolutely roasted. Be back in a minute. So that's me heading back down, guys, from the Coral Inn and I never noticed this on the way in one of the big turbines so this scheme was commissioned in 1926 so that's the mills were there in the 1700s so it was obviously no built to service the, the mills Remained that this turbine remained in service until 2014. Okay. So that's us heading back down to the mill. And I might stop off and have something to eat at one of these wee picnic tables down there. And get myself ready for the trip away up there. So let's go down and we'll uh, break out the span. So that kind of concludes our trip to New Lanark to the textile mills in New Lanark. All very interesting. I think I've only been here once before, and that's when I think I was in about primary three or primary four at the primary school. Funnily enough, it would be at the primary school if it was primary three or primary four. So yeah, so hi, nice wee trip. So now I've got to feed myself back into Glasgow and pick up the other half from our. Hobbycraft show. Sounds a blast. But yeah, hopefully the next time I'm out, um, it'll be for the night or a couple of nights under canvas. If you've enjoyed this video or if you found it useful, please hit the like button, hit the wee notification bell, and then you'll be sort of informed. Uh, future videos as I put them up and also subscribe if you haven't already that would be grand I'm trying to hit a hundred subscribers this weekend now I've been at this YouTube art for eight months so 
I'm hoping to get 100 subscribers this weekend, so please, 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 if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, guys. Thanks very much. Catch you in the next one.